and Roda. Dad's outside grinding the trailer because it's split. And I'm inside cooking breakfast. Would you like mushrooms on toast with halloumi? Would you like to take a closer look? Mm -hmm. Great, aren't they? Yo. How you going? Good. Good morning. So I removed the old part, cut it, modified it, flipped it upside down. Now it's got a lever against that, so when it breaks, it hits that and it pulls that forward, so we now it breaks again. Job done. Well Modifications done. on the road. Well, it's day 10 today traveling, I think, and I've got a co-pilot with me finally. T has decided to join me in the van. It's only day 10. <laughs> Why do you love the truck so much, Tia? Uh, because the seats can rise and fall and it's nice. Is it comfy? It is comfy and there's heaps more room. <laughs> oh well, you get better company today. <laughs> Don't tell Daddy I said that. <laughs> so, first place we stopped in Charlieville here, um, Fuel station, a guy in there when it was fueling up, kind of had a bit of a laugh at me, asked if, I, if I've got the disease. I said to him, no mate, I don't have it. And he had a bit of a chuckle with the teller. Anyway, I spoke to the teller and said, um, if he's worked it out, maybe he could share it with the rest of the world. And she agreed with me and said, people should be wearing gloves and masks because the fuel stations is where everyone obviously uh, all comes together to get their fuel and they all use the same counter and the same cash machine. And uh, the fact that this old boy was having a laugh at me is, actually makes a little bit of social pressure to, to not do the right thing. And you've got to kind of stand up and do the right thing after, after your own choice. Interesting. Right. Tyres back. Filled up by the locals here in Charlieville. We've had a uh, few experiences here in Charlieville. Those guys did make me feel like I've got the bubonic plague, but you know, it's all good. Put it back on, lock it up, rock and roll. And as we drove further into Queensland, you can see the bushes getting thicker and bigger and greener all the time as we go north. I'm cleaning these and these and these and these. I could even clean more than the dashboard like I was. I could clean more than I was supposed to. I even cleaned that door. Good work. Now it looks really shiny. <laughs> yes. And when the chores were done for the day, we had a play and a train as the sun set on day 10. It's now day 11 and according to the sign I just passed, we're now in the Great West, which is weird because we've come from the West. We're still in the West. We're just now West Queensland. We're in Tambo and this is the oldest town in the West, apparently, according to the sign that we just went past. This series of old towns that we're driving through now in outback Queensland really have so much history and personality. They're great to see each one is unique. The bush has also changed. Obviously it's getting greener and greener the further north we go into Queensland, but also there's a difference in the land usage. It's gone from really wild to now it's more maintained. There's stock on the roads. You can see cattle in the fields and there's definitely not as many wild goats. And we also saw a number of drovers rounding up the cattle whilst we were driving. This seems very Australiana and idyllic, but I think the reality is quite different. I love this sign for Blackall. I thought it was um, really effective. And uh, this is the town with the infamous black stump. Let's see what that says. Are you sure he won't see us? It says, 
historical black stump and I tried to go in to find the black stump but I literally couldn't find it anywhere. So we're gonna leave the town with a historical black stump. The next part of the bush after Blackall was just teeming with flowering. I think it's tall mulla mulla, but it was so pretty. This pink tinge to the bush. This tree is known as the Tree of Knowledge and is the birthplace of the APL and is a ghost gum located in Barcaldine, under which the workers of the 1891 Shearers strike met. It's an icon for the Labour Party and symbolises the foundation of organised representation of Labour in Queensland. Can you see them? Everywhere you go in Australia on the roads, one of the main things you see is the transport of cattle and here you can see them in trains too, open topped, open to the elements and packed in tight. There she is. That's normally a she. That's a gold knob. The web goes all the way from here and it spreads out all the way over there. I mean the web must be about, um, I don't know, two metres big and then she's big. She's but you can see my hand and see her. She's a thing of beauty. As the nearly full moon rose, we camped for the night and we are so close now to being home. <laughs>